Sky, guard you. Wind, guide you. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windkola. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thum resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Where did you learn of that? 
Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax.